Remember when I said that I won't be rebuilding any of the habitats in the Elm Hill City Zoo? Well, I changed my mind! This is the 100th episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo and I wanted to celebrate that in a special way. So today we'll be rebuilding our first ever habitat that we've built in the zoo, the Grey Seal Habitat! Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very very happy and special episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo. Today we are celebrating the 100th episode of this series and it just sounds unreal to me. Wow, 100 episodes of this series and you guys are still watching it, are still asking for new episodes, are still joining a channel to watch that series. So thank you so much for that this is not only a celebration of the elm hill city zoo but it is a huge celebration of you guys and me uh, just saying thank you for all the support throughout the years i started my youtube journey three years ago with the elm hill city zoo the first ever episode on my channel was the elm hill city zoo entrance this is already redone so i wanted to make it something more spectacular for 100 episodes the gray seal habitat was the first habitat in the zoo but it was actually a fourth episode of the series before that we've built an entrance we've built a gift shop and the restaurant and uh, the, in the fourth episode we added our first ever animal to the elm hill city zoo but before we'll talk more about the whole rebuilding process and everything in between let's take a while to give a spotlight to a very special person i will be back in a second Hi guys, my name is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, finally, finally we are building a habitat in our Elm Hill City Zoo. And by the thumbnail of this video, I'm sure you already know which animal we are going to add. It is our special new animal, the Grey Seal. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cringy to me and <laughs> it almost like physically hurts me to watch those <laughs> older videos. But yeah, I wanted to give a special shout out to me, <laughs> to me over three years ago when I first started and I was so shy. I didn't have any of the skills that I have right now when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to building, when it comes to all that stuff. But because of that little boy that I was back then, I was able to become a man that I am right now that is talking to you guys right now. So a lot of things has changed over the years. I've become so much more confident. My building skills in Planet Zoo are not even to be compared to the person uh, that started this channel. I've met so many wonderful people uh, during this journey. Uh, I got so much support from you guys and also I was able to even further develop my interest in animals and in zoos. I got so many tips from uh, fellow YouTubers, from you guys and because all of that I was able to improve significantly. That's a hard English world. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to showcase this all in today's video. Uh, today we'll be rebuilding, as I said, the first habitat in the Elm Hill City Zoo, but I'll be also doing a lot of work around the habitat because this area is the worst area in the Elm Hill City Zoo because we basically started here and my skills were not at the level that are that uh, they are right now. Uh, the best habitats in the Elm Hill City Zoo are far from the entrance. So so today I decided to give some love to this particular area and you'll see it all in today's video. Today we'll also have different cinematics, like a bit different because I will also uh, like talk a bit through all the cinematics to show you everything and talk about everything that I actually didn't do in the speed build and I did a lot. I did an ice cream booth, I did an audience for the for our guests where they can sit and watch the seals where when they will be diving. Uh, I did for example a new roundabout, I did a lot of work around the new shelter for the seals, I also added some necessary fences and changed 
placed a lot of things around the entrance. So yeah, that was quite a lot of work, you guys. Now, let's talk about our today's recreation. I know, I know, finally. <laughs> that was a pun to the older version of this video to the first uh, intro to the Grey Seal Habitat, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, so, the original Grey Seal Habitat, I believe, was the worst habitat out of the entire zoo. Uh, it was just bad. It Let's face it, I didn't like anything about it. I Maybe the rock formation wasn't that bad, but anything besides that was just, you know, not up to my standards. Uh, and I really wanted to recreate that, although uh, some time ago I said that I won't be recreating habitats from the Elm Hill City Zoo because I want to have this like history or, just, you know, recall those moments with you guys where we'll be building this. But I just feel like, uh, you know, we cannot have the zoo where we have those some of the really nice habitats i don't want to be like bragging about my skills right now but some of those are really nice and i don't want to have those monstrosities like the gray seal habitats in here in the zoo so i finally decided to rebuild it and what this means is that from time to time we will go back to some older habitats and we will try to rebuild them i already have my list of the habitats that i want to rebuild in here and uh, not many of those but still there are some that I don't really like and I don't feel that fit into the zoo so uh, this habitat in here sort of starts this little series that we'll be going back to from time to time of rebuilding the bad habitats in the Elm Hill City Zoo. We'll only do this to several habitats because I don't want to you know start this endless circle of you know rebuilding the habitats because I know that I don't know three years from now I will probably think that the newest uh, I don't know Wolverine habitat is bad but uh, I don't want to go into this endless circle of rebuilding everything all the time so I just focus I think like five or six habitats will be totally rebuilt uh, but as I told you this will be like from time to time so in the next episodes we'll focus on adding new animals to the zoo and maybe after some time I'll go back and rebuild the other habitat that I don't really like. The original grey seal habitat was inspired by the sea lion habitat in the Berlin Zoo. I know, a shocker. <laughs> so many habitats in the zoo are inspired by this, but this is basically one of my favorite zoos and it is just perfect for the vibes of this zoo. And what I wanted to do is not like completely change my idea for this habitat. I wanted to build something very similar and something inspired by the same things that I went for over three years ago. But use my skills to just improve this uh, to build something similar but using the new pieces the new plants the new skills that I have uh, so it will all look uh, similar but better if it makes any sense so the underwater viewing gallery that this habitat had will also be here uh, the audience that we have for the guests to sit next to the underwater viewing area will also be here but improved uh, we'll have similar barriers for the guests in here we'll also have the rock walls in the back uh, and similar shape of the uh, like swimming pool for the uh, for the gray seals, the shelter will be totally different because I simply hated the one that we had before. As I told you, I also decided to improve the area around the habitat and this is something that we'll have a look at in the cinematic shots. But I did, for example, an ice cream booth, uh, very inspired by something that Haribo did in the Valby City Zoo in one of the uh, episodes where he added this uh, crepe cafe or something. So I wanted to make my ver own version for that. I won't thought that adding ice cream next to the gray seal kind of makes sense. I actually ended up using small bits of the creation by Haribo, uh, for example a coffee machine or a little fridge for the milk, uh, because I sort of didn't have patience to create such a detail and small models in the game. I also used some other blueprints in this video, uh, you guys will be able to see the list of all the blueprints that I used down in the description 
option if you like to use them, them yourselves. Uh, and I'll also improve some other things around the habitat such as this glass roof on the penguin house and other different things that I will show you in the later part of the video. Now, this is not all when it comes to the celebration. Uh, I wanted to do something special for the members of the channel. And uh, maybe I should mention it at the beginning of the video because I don't know how many of you are still watching, but I hope that a lot of you are still watching. So uh, let's talk briefly about that. So from now on, if you will uh, become a member of the channel, so we will click the join button down below Below. Uh, doesn't matter which tier because there are three uh, you can choose the lowest one uh, you will have a chance to become a sponsor of the habitats in the Elm Hill City Zoo you will get your own plaque that will be customized uh, and you know hang next to the uh, habitat that you will decide to sponsor so for example today's habitat this was chosen by me will be sponsored by the person who is the member of my channel for the longest time. She was actually the first member of the channel and she's still uh, supporting me. So to say thank you, uh, Charlotte or Charlotte, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, the Grey Seal Habitat is officially sponsored by you. And here's your plaque <laughs> on the habitat. I hope you like it. Uh, in case you would like to change uh, the habitat that you like to sponsor, or just drop me the suggestion down in the comments and to all the existing uh, members of the channel just let me know what uh, habitat you'd like to sponsor and I will create those plaques for you and I will add them in the Elm Hill City Zoo and every time you will decide to sponsor an animal I will of course mention it in the next episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo and we'll have a look at your plaque in the, uh, in the next to the habitat so uh, uh, this is something to say thank you for the members. Of course, if you'd like to be, uh, become a member and get your own plug in the Elm Hill City Zoo, you are so welcome to do so. There is a lot of different habitats that need their sponsors. Uh, of course, uh, multiple people can sponsor one habitat. It doesn't mean that it's already booked or anything. And just to mention, if you will stop being a member, I will remove the plug just as it is in the real life zoo. Uh, I had my own plug in real life in my local zoo for a half a year. I unfortunately, it was a gift for my birthday from my friends and my partner. Unfortunately, it was very expensive, like really expensive to sponsor two different habitats in the zoo. Uh, so it's not, it's not there anymore, but it was there <laughs> for half a year. So it was very, very nice gift. And this is something that inspired me to start this uh, membership, like sponsorship in the, uh, in the Elm Hill City Zoo. And I hope you guys like this idea so if you like to have your own plaque uh, in the Elm Hill City Zoo that we'll have a look at in the next episode and we'll have a look at in, in the tour that we'll do soon definitely become a member or if you are already a member just drop me down in the comments what habitat you'd like to sponsor and I will add the plaque to your habitat and that's basically all when it comes to this this episode right here and this new thing about the sponsorship of the habitats in the Elm Hill City Zoo was actually planned for the third anniversary of the zoo because it also happened to be at the right time when I reached to 25,000 subscribers back in November. But unfortunately, because of all my issues with the Elm Hill City Zoo, with the save file, my mental health a bit uh, and stuff like that, uh, I had to postpone it. Uh, but I thought that that the 100th episode is also a really nice uh, time to celebrate in a big way by rebuilding the first habitat of the Elm Hill City Zoo. Uh, it also took me some time, that's why, that's why I was absent. I was also a bit sick, so my voice was really bad and I didn't want to record that. Uh, but yeah, building that took me so long. I should also probably mention something about the future of the Planet Zoo because it's a very hot topic right now here on YouTube, right? Everyone is recording videos about this. Uh, basically, Planet Zoo announced the console edition that you guys probably already know about. By the way, if someone is watching who haven't got a chance to play this game on the PC and is waiting for a console release, I am so happy for you. I, I cannot wait for you guys to enjoy this wonderful game on 
on the consoles. But yeah, many people wondered or were worried if that means the end of the support for the PC version of Planet Zoo. Uh, we didn't have any confirmation, although so many people were convinced that this is the end, that this means the end and so on. I am always waiting for the official confirmation because uh, even if they did that for Planet Coaster back then, for me it doesn't mean anything. They can just change their mind, you know? <laughs> people do that! And yeah, during the last livestream they sort of confirmed and also the financial report, the last financial report of Frontier was also uh, like sort of confirming that there will be at least one more DLC for the PC version. So this is not the end of Planet Zoo. We still have at least one. I am of course hoping for more. Maybe there will be more. We don't know. But one is solid. There will be probably one more DLC coming. I am very curious to see what it will be. But uh, what I also wanted to mention, if it will be actually the last episode, the episode, not the episode, the last DLC, this doesn't mean that the game ends, right? You'll still be able to play it because I don't think that some people understand that. It won't disappear from your PC, you'll still be able to play it. It just won't get any future updates and DLCs. So that means that you know, my channel won't go anywhere. We'll still be playing Planet Zoo here, uh, even though won't get any more updates and stuff. I will finally be able to really focus on building the Elm Hill City Zoo and my other projects. Because I must say this, if I would start Elm Hill City Zoo right now, it will look totally different. Uh, I would do a proper plan, a proper map first, and I would just follow it. Because uh, the Elm Hill City Zoo, as much as I love it, as much as this is a flagship project on my channel and a lot of you guys simply love it, uh, it is sort of like a bit messy and a bit, uh, you know, sort of, okay, now we are getting an African Crested Porcupine, so I have to find a place for it. Oh, so this time we are getting a Tasmanian Devil and a Kiwi, so I need to find a way to add it to the zoo. Let's build a new building and stuff like that. So it's not as, you know, thought out as I would do it right now. So if the DLCs will be done, I'll be able to focus more um, about on planning and doing stuff like this. But uh, I still hope, I still have high hopes that it will be more than one. But of course, we'll have to see. And if it will be only one left, then it's not the end of the world. I'm sure that someday we'll get Planet Zoo 2. So yeah, I'm still very positive about the future of this game. Before we'll really start to talk about the habitat and everything that I've built up to this point. Uh, I have one question because I have I am really really curious about this. Is there anyone watching right now who has seen all 100 episodes of the Elm Hill City Zoo? Let me know down in the comments or is there a person who watched uh, the original episodes when it dropped over three years ago? Also let me know down in the comments. I am very curious about this and if you guys are one of those persons Thank you so much. Oh my God, uh, you've spent so much time with me. So much time listening to me talking if you've watched all of those videos. So thank you. This really, really means the world. It's like you are just the best. Okay, so when I started this video today, it actually started with something like a sp speech demolition speed deletion <laughs> i don't know the opposite of the speed build so i was basically destroying all the things that i did three years ago it was both very satisfying but also you know i remember that it took me some time so i was like i was like oh no i am just deleting hours of my work but in the end it is all for the good cause because after we'll be done the habitat looks just not comparable to the one that we had before. It is so much better. It is definitely so much more realistic. So the whole building process started with adding my favorite rock walls that were creating using the uh, stalagmite pieces from the Twilight Pack and that you can download from the workshop because I still get some questions about those rock walls. We created sort of like a background of the entire habitat. This was very inspired by the Berlin Zoo habitat for the sea lions. Uh, and then I did like sort of glass fences for the guests. I also added the secondary fence. This is also something 
thing uh, inspired by the Berlin Zoo. So I, what I think they made there and why it looks like this is that, you know, they realize that people are able to come up, come up too close to the glass and that the glass is too low uh, so that the guests are able to put their hands over it. And there's a risk of the sea lion or a seal just biting you on a hand. So uh, that's why they decided probably to add the secondary fence. And this is something that I've decided is a really like nice detail sometimes you know the things are not going the way that we wanted them even in the real life so uh, i wanted to recreate that as well uh, then i decided to do the underwater viewing that uh, is sort of very similar to the one that we had before but it's obviously improved uh, because we now have so many other pieces i've built this habitat right after the aquatic pack was released so uh, there was no conservation there was no use Europe, there is no twilight and all those really nice building building packs that we already have by the way if you guys haven't seen that uh, there is a ranking of all the packs out on my channel a really nice video that I just had so much fun editing but it also took so long time to edit but so many of you guys g gave me compliments on the editing of this video so thank you so much uh, I am still new to this editing in a entertaining way sort of thing so <laughs> thank you so much for that it really meant the world for the underwater viewing gallery i used for example the new doors for the souvenir shop from the latest uh, free update uh, as the base of the entire like glass uh, for the viewing gallery uh, in there i also did, did like this new audience but you'll see that in the cinematics after that i added a fence a custom fence that we created for the emu and I was sort of reusing throughout the zoo uh, in the places where the uh, where the rock formation is slightly lower. This is both to prevent the seals from escaping, although I am not sure if they would be actually able to climb it, but also from, you know, other wild animals of that could just jump in the habitat like like foxes or anything like that when it comes to this fence and some other fences from the zoo and some other buildings from the zoo and maybe some other of my projects i saw them being recreated in some other zoos by some other channels smaller channels and stuff without giving me any like shout out or mention or anything this is very flattering but guys, remember that originality and uniqueness are the keys to success and this is all that I am going to say about this. Moving on, what I did was line the whole habitat with the plaster pieces. That's why I hate to build habitats for uh, sea lions, seals, the pinnipeds. If you want to make them realistic, most of the zoos, they line their whole pools and their whole habitats basically with con concrete or anything because it's easier for them to clean, it's easier for them to drain the water. Uh, if you ha don't have the natural bottom, it's also easier to maintain the clarity of the water so you can actually have those underwater viewing galleries and you can see see them dive so of course in real life it works wonders but in planet zoo if you don't want to make it look like a square box <laughs> then it is quite hard and it took me so long i didn't include too much footage of me actually lining the pool with all those plaster pieces but it was so so much work uh, i actually used those big like round plaster pieces from the uh, africa pack to make the to make all the corners more subtle uh, because I think it's also really important to make all the uh, corners and sharp edges like more subtle for those animals not so they don't have a chance to hurt themselves or anything. Then I used some rock formations, uh, again using the stalagmites. Uh, I had to be careful with that because the seals have the worst, really the worst traversable area. Out of the all animals in the planet zoo, maybe the, uh, the elephants are worse, but they really need a lot of space to be able to traverse the habitat. That's why I was being very careful with placement of those rocks. In the end, I still had to adjust some things so that they will be able to use the entire habitat 
And then I added millions of decals. Uh, so the whole habitat being lined with plaster pieces was very dull, very boring looking, uh, very like plasticky, like very artificial. So I wanted to add some texture to it. That's why I added tons of different decals, both the most decals in more like a sandy color, but also those uh, typical concrete decals. Uh, I also created my own custom paddles, of course, using the technique by leader uh, so you use those emissive panels and if you look uh, from the certain angle it really looks like a water uh, so all you need to do is color the uh, the decal in the same exact color as for example a plaster piece and that way you are sort of able to fake it that there's actually water there uh, so look at me going through the very basic seal habitat three years ago to now creating my own custom paddles like come on <laughs> i also use the pieces of the rock formations uh, like a, a bit outside of the habitat in the places where the guests will be going down the stairs to see the seals diving. Uh, I think that it is a really nice way of tying in the habitats in the space around it. And it is very creating this uh, immersive feeling of the habitat, like sort of coming out uh, of the enclosure of the fences. So the guests, they feel like they are really stepping inside of the environment of this certain animal. This is something that I see a lot being used in the zoos and I really want to use more in my future builds. As you guys can see, right now we are working on a shelter for the seals. Uh, and uh, if you guys remember, I always said that the Elm Hill City Zoo is a very old zoo, uh, that it is sort of like a mixture of the very old architecture and some other more like renovated newer habitats with very modern buildings. Uh, and lately we've been building more of those modern things, I think. So I decided to go for something very classic, uh, something older that will also correspond well with the management building, the, the this brick building that you can see in here uh, next to it. Uh, so I decided to go for something more classic and I found a perfect, perfect inspiration for this. Uh, this is the Culver Seal Pool for from the Lincoln Park Zoo. This is a very wonderful habitat. It is for the seals, for the gray seals, I think. It looks amazing. Something just for the Elm Hill City Zoo. Of course, I've changed it a bit. Uh, I didn't want to recreate it fully. I also didn't have a lot of pieces that were used to create this building but uh, in the end I really like it. Inside of the shelter this is something that you'll see in the cinematics. I actually decided to reuse something that I already did. Uh, I created this whole big backstage area for the sea lions in the Valby City Zoo not long ago where uh, during my episode for the Valby I was building for the sea lions. This was also sort of inspired by Berlin Zoo uh, so I decided to reuse the interior of that because I didn't want to focus on building that again, you know, spend days of building the interior of the shelter. So I hope that my team from Nivalby, if you guys are watching, you are not mad about this. By the way, uh, the Valby City Zoo is also back. We already had one episode uh, during this year. Uh, it was sort of, it was an episode on my channel if you guys haven't seen that, we, but we all worked on that episode. It was a really amazing build. So if you guys haven't seen that, I will also put the link down in the description and on the screen. And we will be back soon with another episode. So if you are also following this series, a new episode should be coming. Uh, so yeah, in here I am using the new brick from the tropical pack my favorite brick i really love those walls and i also added some decorations those like uh, brighter color decorations in here this was very inspired by the original building i added some custom windows for it that will provide a lot of light inside of this shelter i also decided to make a green roof in here so uh, this was not from the original building uh, i lined the whole like roof with the mulch pieces and added the plants uh, so you'll be able to see that in the uh, in the cinematic shots by the end of this video. I must admit that I wish I had more space for this shelter.
shelter. It is totally too small because of the enormous traversable uh, area of the seals. Uh, they are sort of not able to go in there, definitely not using the main doors for them from the land area. They are able to swim in there because I also was inspired by Berlin Zoo and I did start uh, like this thing that they can actually swim into the shelter and there there's this door that is just closing into this like airlock or anything in the water that is able to uh, you know separate the water sections uh, using the indoor water section for the pinnipeds is very important even if they are closed inside of the shelter they should have an access to water so this is something that i wanted to provide for them and that will be in there for sure you'll see that all in the cinematics by the end of this video i must say that i really enjoyed building here i really enjoyed recreating this habitat although it was so much work and i am a bit tired of building in planet zoo after building this habitat that. But for the next episode of the Elm Hill Cities, we will build for something much easier. It will be for one of the animals from the Eurasian animal pack, so uh, I hope you guys are excited for this. But yeah, building this habitat and recreating the whole area around it took me so much time, but I am so so satisfied with the end product and I hope you guys will like it as well. Some of you were actually asking if I would be rebuilding all their habitats. I said no most of the times because as I said I didn't want to go into this cycle of you know building something and after some time rebuilding this again because that way we would never finish this this project and i really want to finish it one day although there's still a lot of the animals that i still want to add in here and i am really hopeful that my pc and the save file and planet zoo will allow me to do it i must say that right now uh, the performance is really really good so i have really high hopes that we'll be able to add a lot of enclosures in here so that has been basically the speed build part for the 100th episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo. Thank you guys for watching this. Thank you for supporting me uh, all of this time. This, as always, means the world. Thank you for all my heart. Uh, I cannot wait to record even more and I cannot wait for you to watch the episode number 200 in the future. I am sure that we'll get there one day. Okay, so... Without further ado, let's see some cinematic shots, this time with my commentary. I really love how this habitat has turned out and I hope that our seals are enjoying it too. Unfortunately, due to planet zoo mechanics, the seals are not able to dive in here because it is a bit too shallow, but I think that realistically it looks like they would be able to do that. I just didn't want to make this water section so deep because it can sometimes look unrealistic. This is the new version of the underwater viewing gallery with the audience for the guests. The guests will be able to sit in here while watching our seals dive and also listen to the educator or see the feeding show that will be held in here for sure. I also improved the whole area around the enclosure. We have the new roof that allows the guests to watch the seals when the weather is not so good. Those smaller walls around the habitat were also improved. We have a lot of different plants that were planted in here instead of the older ones. Uh, we also have things like the ice cream booth where the guests can purchase the ice cream if the weather is very hot. They can also buy here some souvenirs if they want to. This is the new view for the paths that leads to other parts of our zoo and on the left hand side you can see the new seal shelter. I also added here like a little roundabout with the reindeer statue in the middle because we have the reindeer habitat just next to it and I added a lot of plants in here as this area was really plain and really empty. I added some fences and just improved the whole thing. Here you can see the inside of the shelter for the seals. They have their indoor pool, they have their stalls where they can sleep and we have a place for the keepers to prepare their food. 
I really love how this whole area has turned out. I think that it is such an improvement uh, to this middle part of our zoo and I really hope you guys will like it as well. We will continue with some other cinematic shots while I will say my goodbyes and I think that there will be some more after I will even stop talking. So don't turn off the video because there will be some quite amazing shots that you don't want to miss. Uh, okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video like this. Give this video a big thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. And of course, leave me a nice comment if you enjoyed it. And tell me what you think about the new improved version of the Grey Seal Habitat. If you like to support the channel a little bit extra and become a sponsor of the Habitat in the Elm Hill City Zoo, please consider to click the join button down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!